Waterhouse will be Portmore United's opponents in next Monday's Red Stripe Premier League final after earning the right by clipping the throne of the champions on it Gardens 2-1 on Monday to reach their second final in four years, 3-1 on aggregate. The last time Waterhouse got to the final, they had to go through Arnett Gardens, and like then, they did it just the same. A full house came out to see the mega clash, and they weren't disappointed, well, unless they were wearing red. But it was the Red Army that were celebrating first when Steve Clark tied things up on aggregate. Oh, chance here! In minute number 10. They were still jumping when Cardell Benbow silenced the crowd just two minutes later. Tonight, ball played through. Here's Benbow. Chance for Benbow. Cardell Benbow, who didn't play in that last game, ties the game in minute number 12. It stayed like that until the 53rd minute. It is too old, And it goes in. He does it again! 53rd minute! Tremaine Stewart did it in the first leg and he showed on the night it was no fluke. The goal was like a dagger in the heart of the junglists. Even those in the stands felt it as missiles were hurled onto the field. Substitute Newton Sterling tried his best to settle the nerves but Diego Horton was equal to the task to deny the towering striker. 2-1 it ended for Waterhouse and an emotional coach, Donovan Duque. Um, it played on my mind mentally. I, I, I wondered um, what was I doing wrong. I watched the tapes, I reviewed the games, and I thought with hard work then comes the element of luck. And I thought he had always uh, had the element of luck over me. And um, with this Waterhouse team, they kept on working. These are a set of lads that we, I met just above relegation zone and um, they kept on believing. I told them we could do it. Arnett went home disappointed, but reality outweighed expectation for a team that has not won in 12 outings. The defensive unit still, you know, laps in concentration. As a result of that, we got an, an early goal from the youngster Steve Clark, but Waterhouse looked the team that really wanted it a little bit more. You know, in the latter part of the game, you push a lot of players going forward and we, we, we really created opportunities, but in the end, you know, the Waterhouse team defended, defended stoutedly. Since reverting to the knockout format, only four teams have reached the finals. Arnett Gardens and Montague Bay United have both won twice. Waterhouse and Portmore United were the losers. Now they get a chance to lift the title.